um, five years, you know, we work long hours and um, and then one day, like today, totally unexpected, you hear an intervention uh, like the one I heard before and, uh, you know, you, you feel like your effort counts, your effort matters. So I should start by saying thank you. Thank you for reading our paper. Thank you for staying in the line and grabbing it and uh, and so you got me very emotional. Uh, thank you. Very nice. Um, and, 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 they, and then I'll start from there uh, because the answer is simple. Um, it should be law. It's totally unacceptable that in Africa, 30, 40 years old after our independence, um, including in Mozambique, we are not inclusive. Anybody that has uh, or is part of a disability, it is totally not included. Be it physical, be it uh, hearing, be it speaking, it is we don't have um, specific laws and some cases when we do, uh, they are not enforced. Again, you know, uh, it's part of what we are and want to question more because if we get access to a state budget, if we know where the government is putting money, I will definitely vote that we put more and less into uh, the state and the defense and more into inclusivity. It is a shame that uh, uh, media that is state controlled all over Africa and in Mozambique does not make it inclusive. So um, it should be law. There is no excuse. Uh, it's a sign of the defeat in our liberation process. We should keep on fighting for it. Um, the questions are long, but I'll, I'll try to summarize. Um, the propaganda, yeah, you know, everybody got it. It's, uh, it doesn't take, it's not rocket science. He who controls media has power, and those that, uh, um, that exist all over Africa, you have two kinds of power. One is totally the media that is controlled by governments. In Mozambique we have. In Mozambique we have televisions that get states at the money from the state. In Mozambique, my main competitor in the uh, newspaper business, it's, um, it's owned by the central bank. You know, so I make money out of my newspaper. Instead of putting into more newspapers, I pay taxes. And out of those taxes, you know, the government, the central bank, one way or the other, funds my competitor. And, you know, somehow that's legal. Uh, so, yeah, we should fight for it. This is the forum. I hope we push it and question. The government here is the first one that does not follow the law. Because of our um, aid that it supports most of our budget, which would be like that in most of the countries, the procurement law states specifically that all advertising for um, state uh, expenditure, uh, be it uh, book, be it uh, education, agriculture, should be advertised, should be made a tender on the biggest circulation and readership newspaper, which in this case is mine. And uh, they don't advertise in my newspaper, they actually advertise in the state-controlled newspaper. Some people said, well, you just want the money. I said, no, they can come and advertise for free too. I just want to break the monopoly. And guess what? We got zero advertising. Isn't it strange that when you've got a central bank or when you've got a tax authority or be it a social services that wants to make an announcement that should reach the majority of the people, they do not advertise on the biggest distribution and readership newspaper in the country, which would let them do it for free? Isn't it strange? Doesn't it strike you? So what do we do about it? You've got to fight back. You can't sit here and then go back and put your documents in, in the drawer because then you are guilty, then you are an accomplice of them, then you don't follow. Then I would say each of you is probably part of the secret services that came here to destabilize this um, whatever it is that we have going on here. So question yourself first, are you going back, and this leads to the next question, are you going back to your constituencies, rounding them up? You don't need to sit in front of the TV and say what you discussed here. You can call your neighbors, sit them down, you know, round them up and tell them what's being discussed here. You know, push them into action. Citizen action is the only effort we have. 
And that is media. That is also media. As a roundup, yeah, do your blog. A lot of people come to us and say, please print what I write. I can only print a limited amount because guess what? My government spends $10 million in advertising for um, uh, state procurement and all that. None of it comes to me. All of it goes to journal notices. And my friend that asked the question is, how much and how often do you read the daily newspaper? Some people say it's boring. Well, I'm being biased here. But anyway, so the whole point is part of the fault sits on you guys because of your inaction and if you see your neighbor being in action think it is not a spy push him into action you know give us the treatment of guilt because then otherwise this becomes a profession coming here going to one forum to another getting the fair deal the late night parties what are we doing here are we about to change the future of our continent or are we just about letting time lapse so that we no longer use and get the next gig you know, part of the guilt is on us. Uh, I hope I answered all the questions. Uh, about social media. Guys, nobody's forcing you to read a bad comment in Facebook. Delete. Move on. You know, stop trying to control it. If somebody's saying that you're ugly in Facebook, get over it. Move to the next comment, you know. Why do you want to create a legislation on it? You know, as a statement, we should keep internet free. It's the only tool that will maintain your democratic rights to say, to speak, and to voice your opinion. The moment you side with any government that wants to control it, you're putting the chain on your own leg.